Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to use Apex with VS Code. Now to use Visual Studio Code for Apex development, we need to create a new project in our Visual Studio Code and authorize with an org. Once a project is created, we can do as much of development we want for that specific org. If you want to create more than one project for the same org, that is also possible. Now to create a new project, you can do that either from the command palette or from the terminal. The command palette is an easier and faster approach to do that. But if you are aware about the commands, you can directly go to the terminal and type in the command. Here I'm sharing the command as well, which you can use in the terminal. And if you want to directly use the command palette, you can do that in the windows by pressing control shift P or you can click on the command palette icon as well. So we will see that in the practical session in this video itself. Once the project is created, we need to authorize that project to an org. So again, we do we can do that from the command palette as well as from the terminal. So if you are on the command palette, there is an option to choose SFDX authorize an org. And if you are working from the terminal, the command is SFDX force auth web login space dash a org alias. So in place of org alias, whatsoever alias name you want to give to your org right now, you can certainly do that. Now this will open a login screen on the default browser. You have to enter the org credential over there. Once you do that and your org authorizes with your Visual Studio Code project, you are ready to provide the Apex code. After successful authorization of the org, you can add Apex code by any of the following means. That means you can use a command palette to do that. For that, you need to go to the command palette and then you need to search this certain option SFDX create Apex class if you are creating a class or SFDX create Apex trigger if you want to create a trigger. Then after you have to provide the desired file name and choose the default or the specific file directory where you want to save this file. The same thing can be done with the GUI option by right clicking on the classes folder if you want to create an Apex class or on the triggers folder if you want to create an Apex triggers. Then after you have to click on the SFDX create and whatsoever option. For example, if you are using Apex class, it will be create Apex class. If you are creating Apex trigger, it will be create Apex trigger. Then after you have to provide the desired file name and finally the desired location where you want to keep that file. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's a demo time. So as we are using Visual Studio Code now, I have opened the Visual Studio Code and right now I'm not on any specific project. If you want to check that, you can certainly click on this explorer option and it will show you the folders of the project. If you are on any certain project, if you are not, you need to create a new project. So to create a new project, you need to go to command palette. As I told you now from here on this gear icon, you can click and click on this command palette option. This will show you this specific option. Otherwise you can click on control shift P and that will also show you the same option. Now there are few options like create project with manifest and create project only like there is one option as SFDX create project. So you can use any one of them. I'm using the first one SFDX create project with manifest. Now it will ask you to choose a specific type of project, whether you want to create an empty project or an analytics project, but we are going with the standard one. So we will select standard project template. Now it will ask us to create a name for the project. So I'm providing a name over here as Apex level one. Enter. And it will ask me to choose a specific folder where I want to create that project or a specific location. So I'm choosing the default location itself. So I'm clicking on create project, but certainly you can choose any specific drive if you want to do that. So my project is created and you can see that project name over here, Apex level one. And there are some certain folders and files that are created by default for me according to the template. So all that I need to do or all that I need to work is inside this force app. So I will open this force app main default folder and there I will find two folders of my concern classes and triggers. I will work on that, but before that I need to authorize my project to an org. So if you remember, we have already created an org and I'm going to authorize to that org itself. So how to do that? So you can open the command palette by pressing control shift P and here is an option of authorize an org. Now it will provide me four options out of which I can use 
two of them that is project default or production which is login.salesforce.com we won't use sandbox until unless we are dealing with sandbox or scratch args and we won't use custom until unless we are using any custom login url so right now i am using project default itself it will ask me to give an org name so i am giving it an alias as apex level 1 so this will open the the default browser where i will provide the credential so if you remember the credential here is apex level 1 at the rate pst.com and you need to provide the password as well it will ask me to allow some certain information related to Salesforce CLI. So I'm clicking on allow and once authorized, it will show me the org here and on my visual studio code, it will show authorized over here. So just wait for that. So you can see now SFDX authorized an org successfully ran. That means now I have authorized my org over here. You can see that and verify it on the bottom left corner where it will show the org name, the alias name which I have provided while authorizing. So now you can see Apex level 1. Now there is a small icon on the left of it which is open org. Now let's suppose if I have already authorized and later on I have closed this browser and then I want to open the org. I need not to go through all the step again. All that I need to do is click on this open org option and this will open the default org which was authorized right now now the next thing is to create the class so to create the class you need to right click on the classes section and click on this create apex class option it will ask me to provide a name so i'm providing a name hello apex and enter it will ask me to choose the default location so if i will choose the default location it will create the file here in the classes folder if i want to choose any custom directory definitely i can click on it and choose that specific directory among the various among the list of the directories shown to me so right now i'm going with the default one and you can see it has created a class for me added some code for it and you can see that a hello apex class is under the classes folder similarly we can create a trigger as well so to create a trigger right click on the trigger option create apex trigger and let me give it a name as hello trigger and I can choose the default trigger option and here it has created the trigger for me. We definitely need to provide the object name like account or any other Salesforce object which I need to work on or for which I am creating the trigger over here. So that's how we create a trigger or that's how we create a class over here. Now definitely if I write down any code here in Visual Studio Code, I need to send this code to the org. Right now if I go to my org and if I search for hello apex or uh, hello trigger, I won't find it. So let me show you apex classes. And you can see there is no hello apex class over here. So I need to deploy this class to my org so that I can see that in my org itself. And that's very simple. All that you need to do is right click on the class, click on this deploy source to org. And this certain class will be deployed to my org. So now if I will go to my org and if I refresh this page, I will get this hello apex class over here. You can open it and you can see it's the same class which I created in Visual Studio Code. So that's how we use Visual Studio Code to create a project, authorize an org and create apex classes and apex triggers in our project. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.